Hello, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just hopping on and doing a quick little intro for my closet makeover. Um, it's kind of just a small makeover. I really just added a few wall pieces and a little table and an extra curtain rod and then did some painting. So it's not anything crazy, but I love the way it turned out. Um, decorating is one of my absolute favorite things to do. I love watching decorating videos. And so it's kind of a mess because I'm trying to do the makeover of the bathroom at the same time as the closet and I should have done one or the other because there was just like crap everywhere. I'm just waiting on the package from Hobby Lobby with all of my like wall signs and wall art um, before I do the bathroom reveal itself. That's my gonna be my next video. The only thing that is not finished in the closet is the baskets that go above the um, like on the top shelf in there. I want to do wicker baskets because I'm doing a kind of farmhouse theme um, in the like bathroom and closet with like browns and blacks and wickers and um, rustic woods and stuff but wicker baskets are really expensive. So I haven't decided what exactly I want to do for storage but I don't want to do totes like clear totes because they're just not aesthetically pleasing to me. And I, even though they're practical and functional and more like less expensive, but I might just order a couple of the wicker baskets and then upgrade as I go. Cause I need to be able to have something to put all of like my winter clothes and my uh, pre-pregnancy clothes in that's out of the way and off the ground. Cause my goal is to have nothing on the ground and have it all hung up. Okay, so here is the current state of my closet. It's really hard to tell because this room is like really long and skinny, but it goes like all the way back there. And then currently there's like shelves down here. It's a mess in here right now. And then I have these, um, I think they're supposed to be for like shoes or clothes to put in uh, to hold stuff, but I shove all my um, scarfs in there. So the plan is to hopefully take this shelf out and this out, leave this one on top and then move this bar up a little bit and then put a secondary bar across the bottom down here. So I have two rows, um, of like hanging storage because the shelves are great and stuff, but I honestly, don't need them. I'd rather have the hanging These spins bins are all of my like pre-pregnancy clothes that I'm keeping and saving. So I might have to put those out in the garage because I don't know if they'll fit in here, but I'm going to take everything out and um, then I'll show you what it looks like when it's empty. Okay. So this is my giant pile of clothes. Um, baby boy swing and play place are back there that I have there. And then I have ignore that sock all of my bins sitting in the corner and then the bathroom is literally a complete disaster I have all of my scarves and hats and stuff in there and then this situation is like literally out of control this is all of like my winter clothes and stuff um that was on this rack right here, not this rack. It was on this shelf up here on this side. There's currently shelves, but I just don't use them. So, um, what it's going to essentially look like, hopefully when it's done is the clothes will hang out so far. And then I bought a little, like, um, little kind of like end table to go here and then a jewelry rack and a little mirror to go here so where the clothes end I have a kind of like a little get ready with me area right here um on this side and I can have like a little mirror to put my jewelry on um and a little stand to put a few things on um like my hair ties and clips and stuff can go on there Jason ripped the shelves out down here um let me back you up a little bit it's kind of grainy but yeah he ripped the shelves out down here and then um, this one is gonna take a little bit of work okay it's literally a disaster in here um, this situation is out of control I need to go through and clean it but I got this rack off of Amazon I don't know how I feel about it like it's like pretty wobbly but it was $14 so I got it to go in I'll show you where it's gonna go in my closet 
um, but I just put my necklaces on here. These are all from Forever 21, except I think for one. Um, this one is from Amazon, and then these are from just like Walmart. They're just hoops. It's really the only earring I wear, but it's not very stable, so it's really cute. I'm trying to go for like a little bit of a farmhouse theme in my bathroom, and I really like it. It's adorable. It's, I'm just worried that it's gonna like like fall up. I guess it's okay. It's only holding necklaces. So I guess it's probably fine, but I'm going to take it in the bathroom. I got a little like end table. I'll show you where it's going to go. He did not sleep very long. Um, I literally like didn't even get the pieces out before he woke up again. So I'm going to lay him on the bed and see if he just will hang out for, I don't think it should take me more than like 15 minutes to, um, put this together. Also ignore the like mascara under my eyes. I, it's my day off. I'm hanging out with him. He doesn't care. So We'll see if he'll lay on the bed um, while I try to put it together. <laughs> second coat of painting the back wall black so I am half tempted to just paint all of this black except for the rod but I don't want it to be like stupid looking so it's just hard because like this is here and then we took those shelves out that were here but I don't have any of this paint color so I don't want to paint the whole room black because I feel like it's just going to be too black. But I might have to paint this wall and the wall behind me like white because you've got that mark up there. You've got these marks down here from where we took the shelves out. And yes, it will cover like this much, you know, with clothes and stuff. And so you're not going to see it. But if we ever sell our house, like I don't want it to look like this was a pain because I have an edger but it doesn't work on this very well. So you can see I hit the boards a little bit. Um, I'm a pretty, I would say decent painter. Um, you can see where the old shelving was on the wall where it was white underneath. So it didn't cover the same color as the black. So that is not as concerning to me as like these marks on the wall. So yeah, so we put this shelf because before it stopped right there and then we just continued it on all the way to the edge. I mean, this is ugly right here, but what else am I supposed to do? Unless I paint the whole entire room black and paint everything but the rods black, there's not really any way to like hide, at least with these being black, it kind of hides. Okay, so I had to get the baby. Um, he is now swinging. Ignore that tag. It was brand new when we got it from, like we bought it used, but um, I just literally have not taken the tag off hashtag lazy life um and it's in really good condition we we don't use it too often he is sitting in it right now um i wanted to show you where this thing is gonna go so this cabinet 
ignore my bathroom. It's a crap shoot because I'm trying to do the closet and the bathroom kind of makeover all together. So everything from the closet is in the bathtub. <laughs> so this stuff, I have the little mirror and the little jewelry stand is going to go above this um, in the corner here. So it's going to go here. Um, because my clothes are going to come out into, yes, I know my nails are disgusting. I'm working on getting all the gel polish off. Come out so far, and then a little table will go here, a little jewelry stand, and then a little mirror. Um, I decided after I painted this wall black that I did, we don't have this color of paint for the walls. And I just, I feel like it's going to look so ghetto. So I sanded this all down and stuff um, earlier and taped, well, started to tape. I got almost done before the baby woke up. Uh, I'm just going to paint it. it. The color is called Sahara. Um, it's like a kind of a brown um, nude sand color uh, because I wanted it to be a little bit more brown tone. And this doesn't, this pulls a little bit more warm tone, but it's actually a little bit more cool tone. It's more of a gray than a brown. So um, with this trim color in the black, I'm gonna do this wall brown, and then I will paint this wall brown. And this, I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. I was gonna put a mirror in here, but the clothes come out fairly far, um, and with the door there, it kinda gets in the way. So I might just see how it looks once we've got all the clothes in here. Yeah, we had a little bit of mishap there when we took the shelves out, but such is life. So, yep, I'm just waiting for the paint to get here. I'm gonna fix that up a little bit, and then, um, yeah, and then I'm gonna start painting these two side walls and check in with you when that's done. So I am on my second coat of this color. I honestly could not find the texture spray, so I left that. I will eventually have to fix it, but to be honest with you, I just didn't really care. So it's a little patchy because I touched up some spots, but I think the two coats is gonna cover. And the clothes are gonna cover that, and once I can find the putty and the te texture spray, I will putty that, fill it up a little bit, and then texture over it, um, along with that other hole. But I had a little bit of trouble with the edges. So it's not as like cream, uh, clean and crisp. You can see like I got some there and there, um, but it's not awful. So, I mean, overall, I think it looks okay. Um, it definitely could have been better, but it is what it is. I'm tired of painting. This room is so small and it gets so hot and I get so sweaty that I just am over it. So I'm just ready to be done. Um, I'm going to, as soon as this dries, um, Jason's going to hang up the second rod and put the brackets on the wall down here. And then I can put all my clothes back in. I can put my little table. Look at that disaster, you guys. Holy crap. Um, put my little table here with my little jewelry stand and my little mirror and get all my clothes in here and put all the stuff that goes back up here um, away and just be kind of done with it. Okay, so I got these. So we pop them up. I know it's a horrible angle. Sorry about that. Um, I thought... Okay, so let me see. Is this up? Level? Okay, so here is the bins that I got because I didn't want to spend, you know, twenty or twenty-five dollars on um, individual wicker baskets, which I which I would have loved to have, but they're so expensive. So I got these because I thought they looked kind of like farmhouse. In the shelf in the um, closet is very narrow, so like uh, depth-wise, if I turn them sideways, they fit perfectly fine. But the they're canvas, but they kind of just don't stay true to form. Like even if you form them where they're supposed to go, they kind of just like cave in. So I'm hoping once I actually get some stuff in them, they might kind of stay a little bit better formed. But uh, I don't know. This is to put on top of the um, closet uh, shelf that's up there and to put all of like my pre-pregnancy clothes and I got five of them so I think they were about like 11 or 12 dollars on Amazon um, and I like them but I just 
I don't know. I don't want them to look like sloppy. So we'll see. I'm going to load. So I have two. So I have five of these that I bought. And then I have in this bin two bags of pre-pregnancy clothes in like a few other things like some of my bathing suits and things like that that I'm going to put into the bins. And then I will bring them into the closet and I guess we'll see what, I don't know, I guess we'll see what they look like once they're up. Also, baby boy is over there in his swing. He's kind of cranky. <laughs> he's whining a little bit, but he's tired. So he is just hanging out swinging. We're watching Gilmore Girls while I do this. So I was going to film putting all the clothes in here, but I just don't have um, the like desire to go set up the whole tripod and everything. So I um, am home. I'm actually sick, which really sucks. I've been sick for three days now. Um, and so I've mostly been in bed. This is the first day I've actually been out like up in mobile. Um, and so I have to go back to work tomorrow, but I want to at least get this closet done, um, and put together. So yeah, I'm going to fill these and we'll see how they look once they're filled. Wedding. Um, it's already hot in here. The AC is on, but I don't think it's really kicked in yet. These doesn't matter how I pack them in here. They still don't kind of form the way they need. So I'm a little annoyed by that. I just don't want them to look really sloppy when they're up there, but I did fill all four of these with clothes. And then I have one extra left over that I'm gonna just use for random stuff. But I mean, I know they were packed away and so they're not like perfect, but I don't know. I guess I won't know until I actually set them up there if they look awful or not. I really like the design on them. I just wish that they were more kind of stiff. I mean, I know that's kind of just par for the course when you have canvas, but I really thought they might have kind of some like boning or something in the corners, but, but they don't. So um, it is what it is. We'll see what they look like when I get them up on the shelf and um, make a decision from there. Okay, so I will give you guys a little tour um, of the closet. The baby is listening to Gilmore Gore's Girls, if you hear that in the background, because he's sleeping and he sleeps better if there is some noise um, going on. So I don't have the sound machine on because it's in his nursery and I'm too lazy to go get it. So, um, if you watch the beginning of this video, we had some ugly shelves here, and then there was only one rod going all the way across. So, we took that rod off, we put um, one higher up, and then we moved one and did one lower. So, I essentially have, I know it's hard to see because um, it's very, like, small and skinny space, but now I have two... Um, levels of closet space which is amazing and I love so much so I'll just show you a little bit we didn't do a ton um, I painted this back wall black 
and then I painted these side walls like a kind of a tan color. There is still a little bit of damage that's going to need to be fixed, um, but overall, um, I really like it. So I have my black hamper down here. I got this at like TJ Maxx. It was literally like $12 that I keep my dirty clothes in. And then this really cool rack I got off of Amazon. It was kind of expensive. I almost bought one from Hobby Lobby, but the one from Hobby Lobby was thinner or like not as deep. And I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is super deep. Like, I mean, I wanted to be able to put like, it's like my whole hand. Um, and so all the hats fit in there, which is so nice. And there's three of them. So I have my hats in the bottom one, all my little leg warmers in my beanies and caps for winter. I could have put those up in a way, but honestly, I didn't really have anything else to put in them um, because I pretty much hung everything. So, and then it did come with these little clips on the side, there's six of them um, that you could hang the hats on. But I, I tried the hats on the sides, but it just looked really, really kind of like almost cluttered with the hats on there. So I left them off. Yeah, so you can see the damage right there. Um, that we still need to fix but yeah I mean I I love this little rack it's perfect for in here and it holds exactly what I wanted it to um, and then you can see I actually bought a bunch of extra hangers and I had some left over because I did like two clothing purges so I did get rid of a ton of my clothes so this whole bottom row is just all of my like hoodies in jackets um a lot of these are like my work hoodies for the company i work for um and then a few dresses i don't wear a lot of dresses and then up above i have all of my jeans um i've got a whole bunch of new jeans there that i need to do a haul on um from judy blue i bought some more because i loved them so much if you haven't watched that video check it out um judy blue jeans are the best jeans i have ever tried on in my life uh, they are amazing and I will probably never buy anything but those jeans from now on So I have one haul up and then I have another set of four that I'm gonna do another haul and show try on for a mid-size body So and then I just have all of my t-shirts um, Up here. I don't have tons and tons of t-shirts um, And then I have all of my kind of pullovers and things and then up above I got these I showed a clip unboxing them I still don't think they're perfect um they don't sit very perfectly in the corners for structure I wish they had something that kept them a little more upright but overall um I am really happy with the way that it looks for now eventually I'd like to get baskets but this will work I do look think it looks nice with the black background and it's kind of farmhousey so they're gonna stay for now um I actually had an extra one. I thought they'd all fit up here, but they won't. Um, and then up here, I just have like my breastfeeding stuff that is extra that I didn't even want to put in a bin because this one's not full, but the box is kind of stuck out. So I just left those there because nobody really sees in here but me anyways. Um, yeah. And then over in this corner, I have this little stand that I got off of Amazon. Um I think it was about $50. Uh, it's taller than a nightstand is. So a nightstand is typically only about as tall to like this top shelf, but this is like an extra tall one. So it's perfect for when I'm standing in the morning. And I just, um, yeah, so you can see the little bit of damage there too. It kind of stinks. Um, it's perfect for when I'm getting ready in the morning. And then I have uh, this little jewelry rack I got off of Amazon right here. It's a little wobbly, but um, it is what it is. It was literally like $15 or something really inexpensive. Um, it holds my necklace is perfect. And this little mirror I also got off of Amazon. I think it was maybe $20. Um, it's not huge. thought it might be a little bit bigger than it is but it'll be perfectly fine for what I'm using it for and then this little rack I also got off of Amazon I don't like love um the design of it it's pretty flimsy I think it was like 10 or 12 dollars but it's fine it's got a little rack up there for bracelets but it's really hard to get that thing on and off so I probably wouldn't use it for that and I honestly have it on the wall with tacks which is why it's not flush because it's so light it weighs like nothing um but I'm gonna just leave it for now because like I said all I did was just it's holding my necklaces so um yeah I mean I I love it it's perfect for when I get ready in the morning and I think the closet turned out so good. I'm so, so happy with having the extra space and I think it will be um, 
very kind of more functional um, and efficient for being able to hang up stuff. I have all of my clothes that I own in here. The only things I don't have in here are in my dresser in my room. I have one drawer that has my sweatpants and pajamas. And then I have one drawer that has my um, leggings which is a small drawer because I just have like three or four pairs of leggings and they don't take up a lot of room. And then I have like little, little tiny drawers that have my like underwear and socks and um, bras in them. So I would have liked to have all in here, but to be honest with you, I cleaned so many clothes out. I, that dresser was like practically empty. So I condensed everything um, and I just moved as much as I could in here. I could have got like another stand here and put all the socks and underwear, but I don't mind those being in the bedroom. Eventually, maybe I'll get something else to be able to put the um, other things in here. Um, almost like they had some of these guys that had like drawers that pull out. So I could do opposite end and put one there with the drawers and then just put this black um, laundry basket in my bathroom. We'll just have to see how it goes. So yeah, that is my finished closet tour. Okay, so that was my little vlog smorgasbord of videos um, for, or clips I should say, of my little makeover. I know it wasn't a whole lot, but I just love the black wall in the back. I kind of wish I would have painted the whole thing black now that I look back on it, but I'm not pulling everything out. So I'm happy with it. I love it. It's so functional. It fits so much more clothes lots of room for buying things so yeah anyways more videos to come. I have the bathroom makeover video coming and then also I have an Amazon um, t-shirt haul I've actually done two now I haven't even posted the first one I'll see you guys next time thanks for hanging out